Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at some WoW Classic Rogue Guides. Uh, this guide today is going to kind of give you an overall view of, you know, what's good with the Rogue classes. So actually, this was a character right here uh, that we were just messing around with. Uh, we'll delete him real quick, um, and we'll get started on this video for you guys to see what's the best Rogue class and kind of, you know, what's the best gear to go and you know, kind of give you a tier list of what race you should be running um if if you're looking for the most viable option that is obviously you can run whatever you want this is wow you do whatever you want makes you happy uh but let's get started um this rogue guide will kind of give you a few little interesting facts to start this off i don't know if you guys all know about these uh little stats that you kind of get as a rogue player um but as a rogue your primary attributes are agility strength and stamina one melee attack power per point of strength, one ranged attack power per point of agility, one melee attack power per point of agility, 1% critical strike chance for every 29 points of agility, 1% for 1% uh, of dodge for every 14.5 points of agility. So you're going to be looking for a lot of agility. Obviously, strength's going to help you out with that attack power as well, the melee attack power. But overall, agility is going to be your best attribute. Um, and as we go down here, we're going to see that the rogue, um, you know, there's going to be a bunch of obviously options for races. Uh, but, you know, if you're going to be running that rogue character, the best rogue classes are going to be orc, dwarves, undead, and night elf. So that's going to be orc, dwarves, uh, undead, and night elf. They're going to be your best um, rogue characters for the, uh, you know, these little things they give you on the side here. We're going to read them real quick for you guys. On the Night Elf, um, you have May Fade into Shadows, Dodge Chance Increased Wisp from a uh, Wisp form while dead. So when you're dead, you actually come back and you're actually a Wisp um, and you move a lot faster to your dead body. Um, then you have Resistance to Nature Damage. So that's going to be the best classes for Rogue. And we're going to go to the Average classes now. Um, these are all going to be the second uh, to the best, obviously. And it's going to be Troll, it's going to be Gnome, and it's going to be Humans. So the Troll, Gnome, and Humans are actually going to be the second uh, best classes or races that you can run Rogue with. Um, and that's going to be based, like I said, upon the, um, you know, the stats that you kind of get right here. Uh, the Stealth, uh, Detection Increased, Increased Spirit, Bonus Reputation Gains, and Skill with swords and maces increased uh, as a human. So those are going to be the best classes. Uh, one class you are actually not able to play as a rogue, and that's going to be Torin. Torin does not have that available. They only have warrior, hunter, shaman, and druid. Um, obviously, the Rachel traits um, kind of just fit their play style with these, uh, you know, other races. Um, you know, like I said, orc, dwarves, undead, and night elf are definitely going to be the best. And we'll kind of move on here uh, to the most common weapon skills um, and that's going to be daggers thrown and unarmed those are going to be the three play styles you're going to kind of start out with they're going to be the common play styles of every rogue player um, and then we're going to go to the advanced weapon skills uh, bows crossbows fist weapons guns one-handed maces one-handed swords these are all going to be uh, things that rogues are going to want to play as a lot so we're going to load in here as a human rogue as we get talking here a vessel it is we're on a pvp server uh, i think it's a high server so we'll see what's going on in the human world i know it's usually the highest race uh or highest population race um but the best profession for rogue is obviously going to be um if you're new to the game you may not know this but the best profession for rogue is definitely going to be engineering and mining um, or you could go the leatherworking and skinning route. That's also a viable option. Um, but that is going to be the best per, uh, professions for Rogue. As we jump in here, we got our add-ons everywhere. But uh, looks like the human area is actually not too crazy populated. Um, obviously, there's layering in the game, um, which is a whole nother video. Uh, but, you know, it's not too crowded. Um, you should be okay uh, joining as a human. I know at one point in time, there was an overpopulation of human um, very heavily. I'm sure it's still a thing later on, but as we move on, we're going to go talk about the talent spec. Um, the World of Warcraft Classic Rogue um, talent spec is going to be Rogue DPS. Uh, obviously, there's no healer spec and tank spec, but it's going to be combat, sub litly, and assassination. Um, and then the best, best Rogue class spec is going to be combat and sub litly. 
and then the average is going to be assassination so it's a little bit weaker than the combat and subsidy sub subly i can't i can't even say the word but you guys get what i'm saying here and i'll pull up a little picture uh i'll put it in paint real quick for you guys um so this is actually going to be one of the recommended wow classic rogue talent spec builds that you're going to want to run um, and this is going to be a pretty basic build that you're going to usually want to run as a rogue. Uh, unless you're doing something specific, these are the best options for you as a rogue. Um, and obviously in WoW, you're able to retrain these later on. So if you want to retrain these, go ahead and do that. You can, um, yeah, I think you have to pay a certain amount of gold or silver or gold or whatever, but you can actually retrain all these. So you're not stuck with the, um, the option forever or the choices forever. Uh, but the only reason I didn't pull that up actually in the game is I don't have that unlocked yet as I am level one rogue and I actually don't have a rogue character made. I plan on making a PvP rogue character so this is a kind of perfect video for me to kind of get a quick overview myself and kind of re-understand uh, what's best for me after kind of asking around and figuring out what uh, other people think are the best options for a rogue. But I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this quick overview of the rogue class and I plan on doing this with every class and I also plan on doing a couple more uh, overview videos of just tier lists and other things. So if you guys like the WoW content, make sure you hit that sub button and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.